Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes the star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents Florence Ziegfeld's musical success, Sally, starring Gordon McRae and his two guests, Marion Bell and Jack Kirkwood. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another memorable musical hit is brought to you transcribed by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking for a silver lining tonight, and we all expect to find it in Jerome Kern's great music for Sally. Sally of our alley is charming little Marion Bell. So don't be surprised if I fall in love with her in the next 30 minutes. I'm Blair Farquhar, a poor, unfortunate guy with only a couple of million bucks in the bank. Jack Kirkwood plays the Grand Duke Constantine, whom we meet back in the little country of Checker Govinia. Constantine, Grand Duke of Czech Argovina. That's me. Revolution! We have found out about you and Madame Nukarova. No! What did you find out? That you bought her a string of pearls with the taxpayer's money. Oh, is that all? <laughs> For a minute, I thought there was going to be a scandal. You are deposed. You are now a fugitive, an exile. A bum. <laughs> Of course, I didn't know anything about Balkan revolutions in those days. And when I dropped into a New York restaurant for a bite of lunch, I didn't have any idea that the man who was waiting on me had once been the Grand Duke of Czechoslovenia. Waiter! Waiter! Yes, sir? Would you please clear off these dishes and bring me some food? No, clear off the dishes. All right! What are you doing? Well, if I don't smash him, I have to wash him. <laughs> and I hate that. Now, they've hired a dishwasher, but she isn't here yet. Well, bring me your number three special. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, what a restaurant. Hello. Well, hello. Are you the proprietor? No, no. I'm just a poor, unfortunate customer. Won't you sit down, have lunch with me? Oh, no, I can't. Why not? Don't you eat? Sure, but uh, I'm just the dishwasher. Isn't that awful? Well, don't worry. Things are bound to look up. There's a bright side to everything. Even to dishpans? Sure. Please don't be offended if I preach to you a while. Tears are out of place in eyes that were meant to smile. There's a way to make your very biggest trouble small the happy secret of it all. Look for the silver lining when air a cloud appears in the blue. Remember somewhere Sun is shining, and so the right thing to do is make it shine for you a heart full of joy and gladness will always banish 
sadness and strife. So always look for the silver lining and try to find the sunny side of life. Gee, I hope you're right. What's your name? Sally. My name's Blair Farquhar. <laughs> Isn't that a mouthful? <laughs> oh, I like it. And I'm going to remember everything you told me. As I wash my dishes, I'll be following your plan Till I see the brightness in every pot and pan I am sure your point of view will ease the deadly crime So I'll keep repeating in my mind Look for the silver lining Whenever a cloud appears in the blue Remember somewhere the sun is shining Wash my dishes now. Goodbye, Mr. Farquhar. Good luck, Sally. Here's your lunch, sir. Thank you, waiter. Are uh, are you, Mr. Farquhar, the well-to-do millionaire? He's my father. No. Oh. Well, I, I understand he's giving a party tonight in honor of the Grand Duke of Czechoslovakia. Will you be there? Not if I can help it. I understand the Duke is a stupid bore. <laughs> Uh, do you want your dessert now? No, thanks. I, I don't care for any dessert. You're a lucky boy. <laughs> you know, in all that high society, there won't be one girl as pretty as your new dishwasher. Hmm. I didn't notice. Is she beautiful? Well, she's Julia. Cinderella. Hey, you sound like you're falling in love with her. Maybe I am. She's somehow different from the rest I can't describe her quite She seems to be just right She won my heart at sight It matters not how she is dressed I want to hold her tight She is the darling of my heart and I met her in the alley And on some future day To her I mean to say Dear little girl, I love you Dear little girl Know the dress that you wear a poor affair you made me care and I know someday that I mean to tell her all my golden schemes we shall find the world of happiness where the sun ever beams and then I'll take my Sally away from Dress that 
to wear is a poor affair. You made me care. And then I'll take my Sally away from the alley to my I can see the headlines. Millionaire falls in love with dishwasher. Do you think maybe I've got some soap in my eye? So you are the new dishwasher. Well? You're not pretty. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're cute, too. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? Konstantin Alexandrovich Fedor Gregorovich. What's yours? Sally. <laughs> You've got short changed. <laughs> Sally, do you want me to help you do the dishes? Uh, you've got a job, mister. Konstantin, <laughs> um, the towel. We are deeply honored. Are you helping? I'll, I'll be through twice as fast. <laughs> Even faster if I break a few, eh? <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever see him again. Who, Sally? Huh? Blair Farquhar. Oh, I, I'm going to a party at his mansion tonight. Really? Yes. You see, I'm actually the Grand Duke of Czechoslovakia. Gee. Mm -hmm. I wish I could go. Then I'd get to see Blair again. I've got it. What have you got? Sally, I'm going to escort you to that party as Madame Nukarova. Uh, madam, who? The, the, the famous singer, the Czechoslovenian Nightingale. Oh, what if she finds out? Oh, she's back in Czechoslovenia. <laughs> She'll never know. Gee, I, I'll put my hair up on top of my head and, and wear false eyelashes and... You better wear a little more than that, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm taking an awful chance. What if they find out that you're a dishwasher? Now, what if they find out that you're a waiter? Mm, you've got a point. It's a deal. We'll go to that party together. The Duke and Duchess of Dishpan. Oh, honey, you're an angel. Just wait and see. I'll, I'll get out of those soaps as yet. We'll return for the second act of Sally in just a moment. But first, last Thursday night, the four cities of Davenport, Iowa, and Rock Island, Moline, and East Moline, Illinois, celebrated an event in their history which marked a milestone in the growth of American unity. For there, just 94 years ago, the first locomotive steamed across the first railroad bridge to span the mighty Mississippi River, binding together east and west with bands of iron. In the same month in which the bridge was opened, a river steamboat rammed it, and both steamboat and bridge were burned. Suit was brought to prevent the rebuilding of the bridge on the ground that it was an obstacle to navigation. To represent the railroad came a then little-known Illinois lawyer, Abraham Lincoln. And in that suit, in which there was established the principle that bridges carrying railroad tracks might be thrown across navigable waters, Abraham Lincoln made one of his first great contributions to a united America. Last week's celebration in the four cities which have grown up where railroad tracks first crossed the Mississippi recalled the dramatic story of the struggles to get railroads built in the 1850s. And today, as the 1950s begin, this nation needs its railroads more than ever. The building of those railroads made it possible to settle and civilize a continent. Their services today are an integral part of the marvel of American production. 
For even in the midst of the richness of today's transportation facilities, it remains as true as ever it was that the railroads furnish the basic transportation of the nation, essential to its continued prosperity in peace, to its safety in war. Here's Act Two of Jerome Kern's Sally, starring Gordon McRae as Blair Farquhar, with Jack Kirkwood as the Grand Duke, and Marion Bell as Sally. Let's take our Sally. That night we had a party at our Fifth Avenue mansion in honor of the Grand Duke of Czechoslovakia. And when the famous singer Madame Nukarova walked in, he could have knocked me over with a ball from dukedom because she was a dead ringer for my little dishwasher, Sally. Ah, Monsieur Farquhar. Bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir. Madame Nukarova, one thing astonishes me. Uh, you, you and the Duke, you look very familiar. Oh, perhaps we met in uh, Europe, yes? When I was overthrowing a kingdom. Is it true, madam, that you were the woman who caused 11 Balkan revolutions? Oh, 12? Who's counting? It's amazing. Such a beautiful girl, and yet such a firebrand. Your partner intrusion, our confusion is sublime. We've never, ever met a girl like you. I must admit I'm rather unconventional. A type that must appear as a confused. Your light splendid flower, not from our domestic pine. An orchid that can thrill us with delight. Alas, I'm not a blossom so original. An orchid bloom would not describe me quite. You're nothing vain, you're like a burning flame. We know your name. You do? Well, all the same. I'm just a wild rose, not a primat wild rose. Pay me if you can. I'm a rose to suit any man. Some fashion flower. This is my love. Who get me? No one knows. I'm just a wild, wild rose. This is your hour. Who get me? No one knows. I'm just a wild, wild, wild rose. Madame Nukarova, would you come and walk with me in the garden? Uh, There's something I, I want to tell you. Well, I'd be delighted to see your garden. It's astonishing how much you look like a friend of mine. A dishwasher. Ah, uh, uh, this little dishwasher. She is nice. Ah, uh, I think you're prettier. Oh, it's the moon in house. <laughs> oh, that lovely bird. It's a whippoorwill. There's a nest of them in the willows. You know, I, I wish I were a whippoorwill. When I was a little girl, I, I used to listen to the whippoorwill and, and dream of living in a garden just like this. Oh, 
say, that bird really had the right idea. Whippoorwill, I used to love to hear you call to me. I know she meant the world and all. What's going on inside? Ah! Silence! My Highness will not endure this uh, humiliation. No, His Highness, really. Here's that tip, Your Highness. <laughs> Connie, what's wrong? What's happened, Connie? Oh, Sally, they found out about me. He's no Grand Duke. He's nothing but a waiter in a restaurant. Oh, I have to do something to put some money in the pot, boy. <laughs> You're a lousy waiter, and you're even lousier as a Grand Duke. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, Madame Nukarova. I'm not Madame Nukarova. I'm just a dishwasher. Sally. Oh, as long as you thought we were fancy pants foreigners, you were nice to us. But you laugh as soon as you find out we have to work for a living. But, Sally, we, we didn't you mean it. You think we're phonies. Well, I think you're a lot bigger phonies than we are. Oh, come on, Connie. Let's get back to the soap side. Well, when Sally and the Duke marched out of our party that night I figured I'd never see her again But I figured wrong For beauty and talent like Sally's couldn't hide forever behind a stack of dirty dishes One of the biggest producers on Broadway discovered her And put her in a musical And behind those footlights, Sally really found her silver lining <laughs> Congratulations, Sally. It was a great show. Was I all right, Your Highness? Oh, you're a big star, Sally. You've got them right in the bottom of your dishpan. Oh, I should be happy, but he didn't come. Oh, Blair? Oh, but after the party, you said you never wanted to see him again. Oh, Your Highness, when a girl says that, she wants to see him twice as much. Hmm. Okay, Sally. You wait right here in your dressing room. I'll find that guy if I have to scour New York. If I have to scour the United States. If I have to scour the world. Hello, Sally. Quick scouring job. <laughs> Blair. Congratulations, Sally. I think everybody in the theater loved you almost as much as I did. You're, you're sure you wouldn't love me more if I were a notorious woman who, who starts a revolution every Wednesday? Oh, Sally. It's you I love. Will you marry me? No. Why not? Well, that's what every girl's supposed to say the first time she's asked. Well, what do you say the second time? <laughs> Why don't you try it and see? All right. Will you marry me, Sally? Um, maybe. What happens the third time? Oh, well, don't stop now. <laughs> try it and find out. Sally, will you marry me? <laughs> of course I will. Wonderful. I promise you one thing, Mrs. Farquhar. Oh, what's that, Mr. Farquhar? After we're married, I'll always help you do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the silver lining When air a cloud appears in the blue
gentlemen. Marion Bell and Jack Kirkwood will be back in just a moment. And our thanks to Paul Fries for his part in tonight's performance. Sally, with booking lyrics by Guy Bolton and Clifford Gray, and music by Jerome Kern, was dramatized for The Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. All through this broad land of America, there are things to see, places worth traveling to see. All through the year, and especially in the vacation season, there are observances and celebrations to add special interest to the scenic and historic spots of the nation. And wherever you go, and whenever you go, there are railroad trains to take you there and to bring you back in swift comfort and unparalleled safety. And now here again are Marion Bell and Jack Kirkwood. (laughs) Marion, you sang Sally just as beautifully as you sing Nadina in The Chocolate Soldier. Thank you, Gordon. Now, I was down to see you at the Philharmonic last week, Marion. I know, Jack. I heard you laughing. (laughs) How did she recognize me? (laughs) Who's on the show train next week, Gordon? Well, Lucille Norman will be singing the title role of the Pink Lady, and I'll be a Parisian playboy. How about this, Mike Gray? One week he's a New York millionaire, and the next week he's a Parisian playboy. What are you trying to prove? Well, it's uh, it's a good way to put some money in the pot, boy. (laughs) Good night, you thief. Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so, until next week, goodbye. Sally was transcribed in Hollywood and presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae is currently being seen starring in the Warner Brothers Technicolor musical hit The Daughter of Rosie O'Grady. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. And now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Eleanor Stieber stars on Voice of Firestone, here at next on NBC.